really inspired a lot of people who otherwise, who otherwise might have become conservatives, like me. If you go back and look at surveys that were done of libertarians in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s, and said what single book or, or thought leader uh, most inspired you to become a libertarian. And it was always ran by a large, large majority. Always a plurality and usually a majority. Reason Magazine came about specifically as an uh, influence uh, by Ayn Rand. Lanny Friedlander, the journalism student who, who started Reason as a mimeograph publication, uh, was directly inspired by Rand. And then when, when I got involved and Tibor McCann, who was working on his PhD in philosophy at UC Santa Barbara, he and I just really hit it off and, and uh, uh, the shared appreciation and inspiration by Ayn Rand was a big part of that. And uh, it was Tibor and I that came up with the idea to, to try to take, it over, take the magazine over from Lanny, who was about to go out of business because he didn't have any head for figures and had no business plan and was running out of money. Uh, so you know, we didn't, we, the business plan we wrote didn't uh, conceive of reason as an explicitly objectivist publication. We thought that would be too narrow in, in, in its appeal. We thought of it as a publication inspired by objectivism and consistent with objectivism, i.e. secular enlightenment kind of culture uh, and, and trying to always give rational arguments for things and to defend limited government and free markets and capitalism, but not to, be, not to wear it on a chest like a Superman uh, symbol, uh, but, and to welcome people uh, who were libertarians in some sense, but, but not necessarily Randians, uh, because we wanted to reach a broad audience. We wanted reason to uh, uh, essentially become the New Republic or National Review for libertarians. If you took a cross-section of people who think of themselves as libertarians, what would the survey show about whether Rand was uh, you know, the, still the predominant influence? I think libertarianism, partly thanks to Reason and Cato and other, other uh, organized institutions that we didn't have 30 or 40 years ago, uh, has reached out to a lot of people in a lot of different ways. So it's probable that Rand is not as big of an influence on what is now a much bigger community of people. Uh, but I think it's, uh, her ideas are still very important. I mean, you find Rand's books on, uh, every, not even say everybody's bookshelves, but uh, on, on lots and lots of people's bookshelves. And, and uh, you get a discussion started at, at a, any event where libertarians are, and a lot of them uh, will have Randian roots. What's the appeal of, of Ayn Rand to uh, people in general, but especially at college age? I think at college age, people are looking for a framework, a mental framework for understanding uh, the world and ideas and issues, but also college students are idealistic. And you know, I think people who first encounter Rand in their 30s or 40s often seem, oh, this, this is simplistic. They aren't, they're, they're no longer uh, as, as open to a radical a uh, completely black and white view of the world. Now, I mean, I, as I've gotten older and more experienced and seen how the world works, I understand that you don't make change overnight, uh, that things are more complicated. But having that vision, uh, I think when you're ready to shape a, a view of the world, uh, is, can really be powerful. I think Rand's influence is very much needed today, despite the fall of the Soviet Union and, and uh, the collapse of socialism per se as an intellectual uh, ideal for uh, uh, most many intellectuals. Today, uh, the, the big problem is the growth of the welfare state and a, and a massive expansion of government and, and the, uh, blaming the uh, collapse of, of the capital markets on capitalism or laissez-faire. I mean, this is, of all, this is, of all times, we really need a, a thoroughgoing fundamental defense of the rightness of capitalism, of, of un, un, unhampered markets. Uh, uh, at a time when there's really, I mean, the conservatives and the Republicans are offering no defense, really. Uh, uh, so it's all the more relevant that, that we, in effect, rebuild the case for limited government, capitalism, and a, tr a truly free society. So I, I think we all have our work cut out for us, and, and, and Rand's vision and, and the, uh, the inspiration that this is uh, the morally uh, right way uh, for free people to live and for people to be responsible for their own decisions. Uh, this really needs to be said in these times. Uh, uh, 
the idea that the government should bail everyone out who, who acted short-sightedly and foolishly over the last uh, five years or ten years, whether it was taking out a, you know, too many home equity lines or buying houses they couldn't afford or financial institutions really doing stupid things. Uh, uh, let's have, now is the time for, for responsibility, which is uh, uh, a core uh, importance uh, for a free society.